I had kind of a roller coaster of emotions the other day, but today is different. Today, I worked to fix something I didn't think I could fix on my own, but I did. What is it, you might ask? Well, it was my iPod. I know what you're thinking, stupid, right? No, it was rather difficult to fix, being that the problem was that when I would connect it to my computer, it would not respond or read it right. So I reformatted it, which deletes all the music and stuff I already had on there. Knowing this, I thought, hey, I can still get my music back easy, because this would be a simple fix for me to do. I was wrong. This took me about a good two hours to figure out and fix. While I found out the problem seemed bigger than what I was than what I thought it actually would be. Now, to someone not familiar to computers or technology in general, is probably going to say or see some things different here. But because I have some experience and understanding for their for this particular problem, I was able to work through it and find that it really was not so hard. All that was needed was for me to be patient and believe that I could do it. And thinking about what happened today, I thought that really this was that this could be like in life. Sometimes we come across a broken piece in our lives and need someone to fix it. And when we are able to fix the problem or pieces of the problems, it can make us feel good and confident in ourselves. And sometimes we may need a little help to fix the broken pieces to ourselves. But it's that learning to accept help, to learn that it's not weakness, but it's being brave in the fact that we are trusting that person to reach inside of us, to understand us, see the damage, and help you to fix it, to fix you, to make you whole again. I know it might seem and sound crazy, but I guess I was feeling pretty good about myself today, being able to fix something complex and confusing. And I guess I'm feeling sentimental and thinking about stuff like this, like maybe I can fix myself and let people in to help fix me too. Maybe it's not such a bad thing to have someone there to help you, or me for that matter. Maybe, like my iPod, I can be fixed too. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer in its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about, when they might have won, had stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow, you may succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to a fame and faltering man. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late when the night came down how close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out. The silver tints of the clouds of doubt and you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when, you, when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. This is another poem I liked called I Choose the Mountain by Howard Simon. It's an incredible poem about making life's biggest decisions. Your choice determines your destiny. Which path will you choose? 
the lowlands call. I am tempted to answer. They are offering me a free dwelling without having to conquer. The massive mountain makes its move, beckoning me to ascend. A much more difficult path to get up the slippery bend. I cannot choose both. I have to choose. I have a choice to make. I must be wise. This will determine my fate. I choose... I choose the mountain, with all its stress and strain, because only by climbing can I rise above the plain. I choose the mountain, and I will never stop climbing. I choose the mountain, and I shall forever be ascending. I choose the mountain.